Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to a new video from Linguamid. Ahlan bikum fi video gdeed min Linguamid. Uh, today's video will be about using the Egyptian dialect in gatherings. We all gather with friends, with family, and we, many of us, would need to know the phrases that are commonly used in order to talk with family members, with, gather, with friends, if you have uh, guests, and so on. So we have in this video 15 important phrases that we use in gatherings in Egyptian dialect. So let's dive in. Of course, the first phrase is hello. Hello in Egyptian dialect is ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. So usually when you have guests, you say ahlan wa sahlan. So welcome to our home. Ahlan wa sahlan. The second phrase is come and please. Come and please. So come and please is itfaddalu. 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 When you tell your guests to come to your home and sit, you say come in, please. So itfaddalu. Itfaddalu. This is very, very important word that you usually use. Uh, itfaddalu for the plural. Usually say itfaddal for the masculine or for men or the gentleman and itfaddali for a lady and for a group of people you say usually itfaddalu so itfaddal male itfaddali female itfaddalu to a group of people the third phrase what do you like to eat what do you like to drink okay so what do you like to drink tahibbu tishrabu e tahibbu tishrabu a. Okay, this is what you like to drink. What do you like to eat? تحبو تاكلو ايه. Okay, but usually we say تحبو تشربو ايه at the beginning and then the, the food will come afterwards. So تحبو تشربو ايه is more common at the beginning um, of the hosting. So تحبو تشربو ايه. What do you like to drink? And or what are your favorite drinks? Or and so on. Okay. تحبو تشربو ايه تحبو تشربو ايه We have tea tea means in Egyptian Arabic شاي شاي This also also in modern standard Arabic So tea is شاي tea Coffee coffee is قهوة 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 From the modern standard Arabic قهوة Coffee is قهوة قهوة Coffee قهوة uh, if you want to say with milk, you usually say in Egyptian dialect بالليبن, okay? بالليبن, so أهوة بالليبن, coffee with milk. شاي بالليبن, which is really, really um, very common in Egypt. شاي, and you put, or tea, tea, and you put milk on it, and it becomes milk with tea, شاي بالليبن. And شاي بالليبن is very, very interesting drink and very common drink in Egypt. Uh, so, شاي بلبن, أهوة بلبن, so tea with milk, coffee with milk, so usually we say بلبن, okay, so, or with or, or مع لبن, مع لبن, بلبن or مع لبن, so you offer milk with coffee, or you offer, um, which is very more common, of course, for guests, um, so you say بلبن, بلبن. Uh, juice. Is عصير عصير juice juice so for example عصير تفاح apple juice عصير تفاح apple juice عصير برتقان orange juice um, and so on so juice is عصير عصير juice عصير in Egyptian dialect and also in modern standard Arabic عصير juice don't uh, forget to pronounce the Ain right. Okay, I have a video, a specific episode about pronunciation of uh, the Ain. This is uh, included in a variety of episodes in my playlists Pronounce Arabic. So make sure to uh, refer to this episode if you want to uh, know some tips about pronouncing the Ain and other letters in Arabic that are difficult. But here, um, 
it's important to pronounce it right. So Asir, nicht Asir, 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 from here, Asir, okay, Asir. Asir is Jews in Egyptian dialect, Asir. So back to the sugar, <laughs> if you want to say, uh, for example, how much sugar, okay, um, you're offering tea, we're offering coffee, and you, you, you ask your guests how much sugar they want. Uh, so, how much sugar you, in Egyptian dialect is Ad de sukkar Ad de sukkar Ad de sukkar Also, you may say sukkar Ad de So, you start with sugar Okay, sukkar, sugar And then you say Ad de afterwards So, Ad de sukkar or sukkar Ad de Both uh, work in Egyptian dialect so at the e sugar, how much sugar? The lunch is ready. El gada gehiz. The lunch is ready. El gada gehiz. Lunch is el gada and ready is gehiz in Egyptian dialect. So this is a very common phrase that we usually say. Um, and we say el gada gehiz meaning that we are introducing the lunch to our guests and the table is ready and they can take their places or seats. So, the lunch is ready. If we are hosting our guests uh, a little bit late, uh, so at the time of dinner, we say So, the dinner is ready. Al-Asha Gehiz, the dinner is ready. Al-Asha, which is dinner. And Gehiz is ready. Okay? Al-Asha Gehiz, the dinner is ready. Okay, so spoon, fork, knife. I need a spoon, I need a fork, I need a knife. Spoon in Egyptian Arabic is Ma'la. Ma'la. Uh, notice the pronunciation of the ayn ma la eh, eh, eh. this is the qaf that we transfer it into eh in egyptian dialect so ma la eh. from mal'aqa in egyptian in uh, modern standard arabic it's ma la eh. ma la eh. this is a spoon okay shoka shoka is yeah, shoka is yeah, exactly. Fork. Shoke. Fork. Fork is shoke. Shoke. And knife is sikina. 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 Knife. Sikina. So if I want to say, for example, I need a spoon, a fork, and a knife, I say, Anna. Anna. Eyes. Or eyes. معلقة شوكة سكينة معلقة سبون شوكة فورك سكينة نايف سوب سوب سالاد أبيتايزرز اوكي سوب سالاد أبيتايزرز ذا سوب إز شوربة شوربة سوب إز شوربة سالاد إز سلطة اوكي إز فيري سيميلر سلطة سلطة اوكي Salata, salata, and appetizers in Egyptian Arabic muqabbilat, muqabbilat. This is the same as in modern standard Arabic. So, shorba, soup, salad, salata, salata, appetizers, muqabbilat, muqabbilat. Also, a very polite offer. If you say to your guest or to uh, can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you in Egyptian is Mumkin Asadak? Mumkin Asadak? Mumkin Asadak? And we, we say it a lot in Egypt to offer help and to be uh, really kind. This, all the Egyptian people are all like this. They are very kind and they offer help all the time. So, uh, this is very very common to hear and very common 
phrase to say to your guests ممكن اساعدك ممكن اساعدك this is for male and for female you say ممكن اساعدك ممكن اساعدك and for a group of people you say ممكن اساعدكم ممكن اساعدكم okay اساعدك اساعدك اساعدكم thank you in Egyptian dialect is شكرا this is exactly like the modern standard Arabic so thank you is شكرا 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 you can have also other varieties you can have أشكرك and you can have also ألف شكر you can hear it as well ألف شكر means thousand one thousand thanks okay so ألف شكر you hear it a lot as well but simply شكرا means thanks شكرا means thanks الحلو desserts desserts so desserts simply in Egyptian dialect you say الحلو الحلو it means all the types of desserts um, it's a very collective word a very general word to describe all types of desserts you just say الحلو the dessert and um, Usually, if you are hosted by an Egyptian family, you will hear this a lot after dinner or after lunch. The, um, the host will say, الحلو It means the dessert. Now we come to a very important idiom. This is called, uh, this is uh, very common in Egypt. Uh, it's called Tislam Idak or Tislam Idik. Uh, tislam idak for male, tislam idik for female, tislam idikum for group of people. This means literally, so may God protect your hand. So the hands that made all these beautiful um, dishes or uh, made this cooking and all and so on. This is literally the meaning. Tislam idak. It's a prey uh, that the hands are protected by God, okay? Tislam idak, tislam idik, tislam idikum. So, uh, know this idiom, it is very, very, very common in Egypt. A very important phrase, anywhere, where is the toilet? Okay, where is the toilet? Uh, in Egyptian dialect, we say, fin el hammam, okay? Fin el hammam, only two words. Fin is where is, el hammam is the toilet. So, fin el hammam. Of course, you may add من فضلك, so please. فين الحمام من فضلك, where is the toilet, please. This is very, very common. So another idiom, another very important idiom. So uh, when you say, for example, نورتونه, نورتونه. This is a very common word that you hear by the host. نورتونه, نورتونه in Egyptian dialect means in English, literally, you enlightened our home okay so you enlightened our home okay this is uh, for a group of people of course for male nawartina for female nawartina okay and nawartuna for a group of people so if you hear this word this is a very beautiful word that means that you enlightened our home and this is one of the really interesting things about the Arabic language that you may say one word that it can be translated into um, by a phrase, a wall phrase in English, for example, or any other language. So we have, this is very common in Arabic, we have many words that can be translated into, with, into phrases. Just one word means a complete phrase. And this is one of the beauties of the Arabic language. So again, Nawartuna, you enlightened our home. Il Marra Gaya Handina. Okay. Il Marra Gaya. Next time it's by us or at our home. Okay, at ours. This is also an idiom that is very very uh, important and common. So next time we will host, or next time we you will be our guests, and so on. So al marra gaya andina, al marra al gaya. Next time andina, okay, in our home, and so on. Al marra gaya andina. This is a very common 
um, phrase also in uh, by Egyptian uh, families or Egyptian hosts and you usually hear it a lot uh, if you are a guest by Egyptians the last phrase uh, we are honored we are honored so we are honored uh, usually again we say one word tasharrafna okay tasharrafna or sharaflina okay also we can say sharaflina the honor is belong belongs to us okay sharaflina or tasharrafna or tasharrafna um, this uh, word is also very very common and you hear it a lot so uh, a very polite word a very beautiful word that we are honored by your visit and so on this is also a very common phrase that you will hear a lot in egypt so these were really very common 15 phrases that you usually hear in gatherings or in, if you are hosted by an egyptian family this is very very important phrases and words and you will hear them a lot um, because we Egyptians say these words like million times and for every gathering, for every um, set with guests, uh, hosting, we say these words a lot. So you are equipped with these phrases and words and idioms. Be sure to uh, listen, them, listen to them more regularly and pronounce them and know how they are correctly pronounced. Um, they will make your life really, really easier and um, it will make you really very comfortable um, with Egyptian uh, words and phrases. Uh, thanks a lot for, this, uh, for watching this video and I hope that this video was useful to you. Don't forget to download my free guide um, 10 important tips to learn Arabic where I offer many tips uh, and um, let us say tricks that you will use in order to speed up or rocket your learning process of uh, Arabic which is not an easy language I must admit but with practice you will be mastering it really uh, in a short time uh, don't forget to look at the description box below for my website link, a link and also for uh, my social media and for important videos and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit and like and hit this bell button so you get all my videos and all my uh, notifications uh, once they are released and don't forget to leave me comments as well ask me um, anything you want or give me your feedback about this video or if you know many other phrases and so on I'll be very very happy to answer. Thanks a lot for watching this video and see you in future videos.